guide service. It is leap day 2012. Uh, walleye season came to a close. We appreciate all the rental business we got this year. Um, we had some nice steady walleye fishing. A lot of, a lot of nice fish this year. Um, it was pretty steady. We didn't have the huge numbers like we're used to, but, uh, but a lot of picture fish and I think we had some happy clients. So, um, we're doing a report from inside today because we're getting the storm of the year. Um, we spent most of the morning out checking on houses, uh, assessing any damage or, or uh, the situation on the lake. Trent was doing a ton of plowing mm -hmm. and uh, he got out for a couple hours this morning and did some eel pout fishing. Um, the fish are really starting to move up, starting to get ready for spawn. Uh, one of our deeper houses was, was getting pout pretty much every night and, and some pretty good numbers and now that house has kind of faded and the shallower houses are starting to see a lot of pout action. So. I think they're they're starting to ball up and get ready for spawn. So the next couple weeks should be really good for pout. Um, perch bite is still excellent, and we do have some rentals open for the rest of the year. Um, got the day houses out. Uh, Trent's been man maintaining roads out there, so travel's good despite all the snow. Um, get on up for some good fishing, and we still still offer some trips on snowmobiles and four wheelers for uh, some of the backwater lakes into to get after some of these big bluegills and, and crappies, which are biting really well. And that bite is only going to continue to get better. But uh, Trent was was uh, nice enough to invite us out for some pout, so we're going to show you how to clean these up, and and we'll eat them up and and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. All right, so I'm laying these pout out on their belly, and we're going to start in the back here, just make an initial cut. And it's pretty simple; you just follow along the spine, and you're going to repeat this for both sides. So. Just get this initial cut to get through the skin. He's still alive, so he's a little bit squirrely here. And once you get past this chunky portion of the belly, you can basically stop that cut, because we're actually gonna take out this whole tail section as well. So once you get that established, just uh, lightly run the knife. And you can feel, and hear, the knife ticking along the ribs there. And then what I do is, you can see the lateral line. What I do is just start there, and I'll make a puncture hole. Try to make a puncture hole. And I'll just cut that last piece of skin on the tip there. Just make sure that's nice and cut. And just keep ticking along the rib cage. And you can kind of peel out, and you can see the ribs in there. And you're left with a big chunk of back strap. And once you get it down basically to that lateral line where you start to see skin again on the outside of the rib cage, I just hold it up as best I can. They're slimy so it's a little tough to grip them. I just cut right through that skin. You get get to the spot where you stopped. You can flip them on its side. And make a cut down. And switch it down the tail side. And that's all your meat there. And you're just going to skin it. slime and grit and some secretion there. <laughs> it's, it's not the, the most beautiful video we are ever going to see, but um, then just going to cut them into chunks. And Trent already has some water and salt and a little bit of sugar and some bay leaves ready for us here. So I'll shovel those over to him and let him wash those off. And you can do the same thing with the tail. Just one inch chunks or cubes.
right, what we did is we seasoned up some water with some salt and some sugar and a few bay leaves floating in there for a little flavor. We're just gonna go ahead and drop the chunks into the boiling water here and uh, let them boil for just a couple minutes and then we'll pull them back out and they'll be ready to eat. All right, we take the pout from the lake, we uh, cook it up, boil it up with some pasta salad and some asparagus and have a nice tasty lunch here for us.